Hello. My name is Hans George Campbell, and I'm here at uh, the downtown Beaverton Fred Meyer uh, store, and we're going to see uh, what kind of Matchbox cars and Hot Wheels cars are hanging on the pegs. what's hanging up on the, the peg shall we I'll go back a little bit so you guys can see a little bit more um, I'm gonna look through the matchbox cars first of course and then we'll look through the Hot Wheels uh, because this channel is mainly about you know the matchbox cars so Looks like mostly peg warmers, uh, stuff that can't, you know, no one's buying. That's what it looks like hanging up here so far. I don't like it when the Teletoy Company does the cars like that, where the roof is part of the window material. That looks so cheap and ugly. They need to stop doing that. Yeah, they need to stop doing that. And no super treasure hunts that I've seen so far, so these other people are wasting their time looking. Wasting their time looking. Yeah, they're wasting their time looking. Um, hmm. Okay, I might actually... Yeah, well, they want $4.49 for that. Four dollars and forty-nine cents for that. I don't know if I want that. Okay, I, I don't see any new power grabs. These were here last time I was here, so yeah. Um, I like that Cadillac. It's nice. Yeah, you'd be surprised how many dumbasses run all over town looking for super treasure hunts and chase cars. They don't realize how much of their time they waste doing that at $20 an hour. How much gas they waste at $4 to $5 per gallon. And the wear and tear they put on their vehicles. So even if they manage to find a super, how much is that super worth? $25 bucks maybe? They spent more than that running around all over town for like two to three hours looking for the thing. And these people are too stupid to realize that. Serious die-cast collectors like me, supers and chases, that's the last thing in our mind. When we look through the pegs, we're looking for some nice cars to add to our collection. That's how you can tell a serious collector, die-cast collector. People that will spend all their time, waste all their time looking for supers and all that, they're going to strip it for the resale value. I'm serious about that. Yeah, thinking it's going to be worth a lot of money in the future, and it's not. They're dumbasses. I've been collecting Matchbox and Hot Wheels cars since, well, the 80s. So yeah, I should know what the hell I'm talking about. And when it comes to Matchbox vehicles, I happen to be one of the world's leading authorities on the subject. So, yeah. And Matchbox have always been superior to Hot Wheels. Always. Even now. If you look at the Matchbox cars, they blow the doors off Hot Wheels. They really do. They blow the doors off Hot Wheels. Always have, always will. I don't see any moving parts cars that I would want to buy. That one, I don't like it because they made the roof like the stupid Teslas, that ugly all glass roof. Like everybody is following suit. They're copying Tesla. Why? That's an ugly looking design. Ugly car. It's ugly. It's an ugly car. Now this car would have been nice if it had a hardtop roof. That would have been a really nice uh, moving parts 
car, you know, but the way they did that, no. Uh, drop something. I always pick myself up. Now, we got some really nice looking, uh, looks like, what, Skybusters? They look pretty nice. I kind of like that one, but I guess so sick and tired of, you know, Top Gun and Maverick and, you know, and uh, all these, uh, this merchandise from the movies. I think they make the movies just to sell the merchandise, you know? And I don't fall for that. I don't, I don't, I don't buy any of this crap. Now, this is the new moving parts. Um, what is that? The Unimog? That actually looks kind of cool. Okay, so that one I'll buy. I'll, I'll put it here. I'll buy that one. And then we have this one right here. That looks pretty nice. I like that one. Well, not really moving parts. It's the Matchbox Collector Series. Okay, excuse me. Matchbox Collector Series. Yeah, that one looks pretty nice. I like that one. So I'll buy that one. That's two Matchbox Collector Series cars that I'm buying. Um, I think these are the last ones for this year. I don't think Oregon has gotten the, the new 2025 ones yet. We should get them by December. Yeah, and that that one there. How much are these? Seven dollars each. Yeah, nice looking car. I like it. It's nice Camaro. Yeah, I'll buy that one. It's nice looking. And then we got what? Um, we got this one here. What is that one? The Ford, what, 1932 Ford Model Roadster? Model Roadster? It should be like, I think, Model A Roadster or something, you know. That looks nice. Looks nice. I like it. So, that's four. That's four. Um, I think this one here, okay, that's from last year, because it's 70, 70 years. And these three are from this year. Those three are there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put these in my cart, and I will be right back. All right, let's continue looking through the Matchbox Collector Series. I kind of like that car. The thing I don't like about it is that grill. I've seen the real car driving down in Beaverton, and that grill, I don't know. I think it's a little bit too obnoxious. Yeah, it's too obnoxious. So I won't be getting that one. All right. What else do we have? Uh, it's time to look through the Hot Wheels cars. Yeah, we got some people here looking. People looking through the Hot Wheels. All right. Yeah. I don't see any new ones. Now keep in mind that about 90% of all Hot Wheels today are absolute low quality garbage. Not worth collecting. That's right, look at them. Plastic with some metal parts. Yep, no thank you. No thank you. Plastic with some metal parts. Let's look down here. See what we got. It looks like the same old crap that's been hanging on the pegs for a few months now, but we'll look through here, see if we can find anything. You know, I don't. Okay. What the hell is that? 24/7. I think that's a fantasy car. Fantasy car. Uh, this is a stupid place to put that. That's a stupid place to put that. Never block your product, ever. Never put signs in front of your product. Never do that. You want to make it easy for your customers to get to your product, to the products. So never put signs in front of the products blocking the product. Only stupid dumbasses do that. Okay? Don't do it. Those of you that work retail, don't do it. Don't block your products with signs. Now this, how many stupid Batmobiles do we really need? Batmobile, Batmobile. I mean, 
The only Batmobile worth having is the original Batmobile from the 60s. That's a nice looking car. But all these other Batmobiles, they're ugly. Look at that. Mattel Toy Company, stop it with all the Batmobiles. Nobody likes these Batmobiles, okay? Just stop it. Knock it off. We don't like Batmobiles, okay? And knock it off with all the fantasy cars so that you don't have to pay a licensing agreement. Don't do that. And one thing I've noticed, you ever notice how the cars that are really worth collecting are usually part of the premiums? What they're doing is they're putting the desirable mainline cars into fancy packaging because they're still you know, a thin metal body and plastic chassis, right? If you look at them, the, the so-called premium cars, right? And they're charging like anywhere from 350 to 650. So the average price for a main line is $1.20, right? So subtract $1.20 from that premium price. And that's how much you dumbasses are paying for that fancy packaging, okay? Don't do it. Don't fall for Mattel Toy Company's clever marketing scam. And that's exactly what it is. They're laughing at you dumbasses all the way to the bank. Trust me when I tell you that. And also, you stupid people that all come in and all you're doing is looking for treasure hunts, they're laughing at you too. They really are. You people are dumbasses. Yeah, you're dumbasses. And what happens is, okay, a lot of people today, they're just looking for the treasure hunts. So they're leaving all the other cars behind. And what that does, um, that makes it to where the stores do not reorder Hot Wheels. And that's why you have all these goddamn Hot Wheels still hanging on the pegs a year later. Because no, people are only coming in here looking for the treasure hunt and the chases. Plenty of nice looking cars here they can buy, right? But no. These stupid dumbasses are only looking for treasure hunts and chases. They don't realize that that's ruining the die cast collecting hobby for everyone else. Because this, all this stuff winds up staying on the pegs and the stores are not reordering. So, yeah. We get a, here in Oregon, which is one of the low priority states for toys, right? We get new cases in about once every three months. Yes, it's that long. Because we're considered a low priority state for Mattel Toy Company. Okay? We're considered a low priority state. So we get the new cars basically last. Everyone else gets them first, and we get them last. Okay? We still get them, but if people keep pulling the crap that they're pulling and just buying certain cars and leaving all the rest of the cars on the pegs, then the stores will stop reordering the cars. Okay, all because of these dumbasses. Okay, and what do you think is going to happen to the tie ass collecting hobby? Why? Because they think these cars are worth money? They're not really worth that much money. Think how much time you spend, how much time you waste looking for them. Your time is money. Your time is valuable. Okay? Think about the, how much gas you spend. Okay, money you spend for gas. How much wear and tear you put on your vehicle. What, to find a $25 super treasure hunt? Are you that stupid? Seriously. People like you ruin the die cast collecting hobby. You really do. You ruin this hobby. That's right. Now I know a lot of you that are viewing my YouTube videos, you may not like what I'm saying. I really don't give a shit, to be honest with you. Because I'm speaking the truth. And that's what matters, the truth. Now that right there would have been nice if it would have had a metal body along with the metal chassis. Again, Mattel Toy Company, knock it off with all the plastic crap. We don't like it. We want metal body, metal chassis on the mainline cars, okay? Knock it off with the premium, you know, scam that you've been pulling and people were stupid enough to fall for it, you know? Because people like me that are in the know, 
part of the real die-cast collecting community, we're going to let everyone else know about your scams that you've been pulling. Yeah, and you won't like it. You'll probably try to have YouTube take, take my video down or whatever, but they're not going to do it because I speak the truth. And as long as I speak the truth, there's nothing Mattel toy, uh, toy Company can do to my YouTube channel. Nothing. Not a damn thing. That's right. Okay. Let's look at through this bin right here. I hate these bins because it ruins the cards. Look at that. They're all ruined. All the cards are ruined. I don't even want to look through this. Look at this. About 90% of all Hot Wheels today, they're garbage. Look at that. Plastic with some metal parts. All garbage. Even most of the treasure hunts and super treasure hunts, have you noticed? They're ugly cars. And they too have pl mostly plastic with some metal parts. They're garbage. Only dumbasses buy them. That's right. But you got all these dumbasses doing it. They're buying them. Yep, they're buying. Yeah, this is all crap here. Look at this. The cars are just ruined. Why do they keep putting them? Th that has some lazy people. They're too fucking lazy to hang the cars up on the pegs. They just throw them in a goddamn barrel. What the hell, people? If I manage this department, you guys would be fired for laziness. Let's see what else we got. Let me get my card. I don't want people to steal my matchbox cards. And they will. I've had people try to steal my die cast out of my cart before. They had to beat their ass. Oh, yeah. You don't steal die cast out of somebody's cart. You might get more than your feelings hurt. You know what I'm saying? Much more than your feelings hurt. Now, they're on sale, dollar each, because I can't get rid of them. Look at this crap. I haven't found one Hot Wheels car that I'd actually want to, you know, add to my collection. Not even one. Mattel Toy Company, that is terrible. Look at this. All this stupid, ugly fantasy crap. Look at this shit. Look. This is crap. I got that car already. Now that one there I like, but I already have it. I have this car already. Yeah, it's a nice car. I like that one. I'm hoping they bring it out in other colors, like red, orange, yellow white, a light blue color, even the Golf. Now this car would look good in the Golf Livery. It would look really good. Yeah, the Golf Livery, that would look pretty good. But look at this. This is all crap. Come on, Mattel Toy Company. Come on. This is all garbage. More stupid Batmobiles. We don't need no goddamn Batmobiles. That's some stupid, ugly shit. Pardon my German. <laughs> Look at that. Ugly. Stupid. I mean, Jesus Christ, man. Whoever would buy these cars seriously have a, has a taste for shit. Look at this. Oh my God, man. That right there would look nice, but it's a metal chassis, plastic body. No thank you, Mattel. That's garbage. Low quality garbage. No, stop it. You know, for being a fantasy car, I do like this one. I actually do like that car for being a fantasy car. The Glory Chaser. That's actually a real pretty car. I like it. Pretty car. I like that one, actually. See, I'm not going to badmouth cars that I think are really nice. But if, if they're crap, you, you're going to hear about it. I'm not going to hold back. And that's one of the reasons why you should subscribe to my channel. You should be watching my peg hunting videos. Because if I don't buy it, you shouldn't buy it either. That's right. I've always had really good taste in Matchbox and Hot Wheels cars. Always. I've always had good taste. So if I don't buy it, you shouldn't buy it either. That's right. If I don't buy it, you should not buy it either. That's right. Now that one there, what the fuck is that? I like the purple color, but the car is ugly. 
Car is ugly. Look at this shit. Look at this. Oh my god, man. Look at this. Not only are, not only are most of these cars ugly, they're stupid. And some of them are fugly. That means they're fucking ugly. Yeah, that's extreme ugliness when they're fugly. And that car there, how many freaking stupid gasser cars do we need? You know? People are always up talking about that gasser car. That's ugly. That's some ugly shit. Then we got these cars. These are basically mainline cars in a fancy package. And they're charging, okay, figure the mainline car is $1.20, right? And they want, what, $1.79? So how much are you paying extra for fancy packaging? No, thank you, Mattel Toy Company. No, thank you. Mm-mm. No. No, Mattel Toy Company. No. No. And look how much they want for these. I mean, oh my God, man. $18 for that. Holy crap! Are you serious? It's mostly all plastic. I've always liked this car. I don't like the truck, but am I going to pay $18 to get that car? Hell no. You know why? Because I'm smart. Let's look at these. Now see, look at this car. This is a fine example of what I'm talking about. That's a mainline car, okay? Mainline car, right? Thin metal body, plastic chassis, right? But it's got the fancy packaging. Now, how much they want for these? Four bucks? Okay. Average price for a mainline car is $1.20, right? So subtract $1.20 from $3.99. And that's how much extra you're paying for that fancy packaging. No, thank you, Mattel. No, thank you. Mm -mm. No. Same thing with this one. I mean, I love the Lamborghini Myra. That's been my favorite since the 60s. You know, when Leslie Matchbox, they came out with their yellow one and then later on their gold one, the Lamborghini uh, Myra. That's a really nice car. Yeah, really nice car. But it's basically, you know, just a, a normal car for $1.20, you know. And they have it in a fancy packaging. And they want four bucks for it. Yeah. So you're paying how much extra? Subtract a dollar twenty from that? That's how much extra you're paying for a fancy packaging. No thank you. Nice car though. I did buy it, buy one of them because I like the car. And you rarely ever see this car for sale in you know, either Matchbox or Hot Wheels. The Lamborghini Myra. Beautiful car. But that's the only reason why I bought it, because it's nice. And these here, same thing. Look at this ugly car. That's just a basic car. Basic car, fancy packaging, okay? And they want how much for that? Seven dollars? Are you kidding me? Subtract a dollar twenty from seven dollars, and that's how much you're paying extra for that for that fancy packaging. No, thank you, Mattel. No. Mm -mm. What else we got? Yeah. Oh man, I've seen enough of this. Now, a lot of people, they've been picking on the She-Hulk TV show. I actually liked it. I liked it. I thought it was funny, it was entertaining, and I don't know why people were picking on that actress, you know. A beautiful woman. Did a good job playing the She-Hulk. It was very entertaining. Yeah, people hate her guts. I don't know why. Yeah, don't know why. And then, look at these. I mean, oh my God, man. Mario Kart. Look at this. Eight dollars. For what? Oh my God. Alrighty. Yeah. 
Now, believe it or not, you do find chases in these power grabs. Once in a while, you'll find a super chase uh, in these. I've noticed that. I don't go looking for them, but sometimes I've found them. Anyway, um, that's it for this video. My name is Hans George Campbell, and until next time...